Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you have not been here before, then welcome. And for those that have subscribed and have been here plenty of times, I just wanna show my love and tell you thank you so much for coming back again and watching these videos and just watching me be ridiculous and silly all the time on this camera because that's really what it is. I'm a hot mess. Everybody knows I'm a hot mess. But I love that you guys appreciate me just being just that type of girl, a hot mess. To all you newbies out there, don't forget to subscribe. If you like the video, go ahead and pop your comments down below and give it a thumbs up if you like this video. So let's rock out. In today's video, we are gonna talk about Fenty. Now, I know it's all the way skirt late in the game. Um, I wasn't even going to review this foundation or review any of the line, but just I have an overwhelming response from you guys and everybody was like, yo, but what about this Fenty though, Kamani? But what about this Fenty though, Kamani? But you know what? If you guys want it, I'll do it. If you like it, I love it. So you guys know I need to prep and prime my skin. We're gonna go in first with the Fenty Pro Matte Primer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pump two pumps into my hand and I'm just gonna rub that together and just put it on. Feels really like moisturizing now. I like when brands come out with primers to go with their foundations because they build their formulas to basically be married to each other and really balance off of each other. So now I'm gonna go in with the Pro Filter Foundation and this is in the color 330. So this foundation says that you can basically layer it and it should go from medium to full coverage. The interesting thing about this foundation is there is 40 shades, but it was a little bit difficult to basically color match me. So even though this bottle looks really freaking light, <laughs> it just, it works. I'm gonna use my brush instead of my beauty blender and I'm just gonna go ahead and do two pumps, I think. We're gonna start out with that. It's pretty liquidy. It is a cream foundation, but it is kind of thin. So let's start out with that. Now, take note of what this looks like on my skin right now before I blend it in. So this is where I was color matched. So I'm like, okay, let's see what happens. I don't know. Now it's covering pretty decent and it is definitely spreading around. I mean, it is pretty liquidy, but it is giving me some coverage. I'm trying to figure out what's going on because I feel like the foundation is, like if you can see over here, like on my cheeks, the foundation is oxidizing a bit. I'm just gonna take one more pump and I just, I need a little bit more coverage on this side. So I'm just gonna go in and spot check a little bit. I'm trying to decide how I feel about this foundation. Yeah, the foundation is definitely oxidizing. You guys saw this color when I put it on and what it is. And now that it's sitting on my skin and it's warming up to my skin, it definitely does have some type of oxidation going on. So that's probably why it was a little difficult to have me color matched when um, the reps from Fenty were trying to do that. But I always like to make sure with the foundation, it's like, what if I don't want a contour? What if I'm like, I just need to like put on some foundation and keep it pushing? Like, what if that's what I want to do for the day? Yeah, yeah, girl. It's just oxidation. Let's just call it what it is. I'm trying to make it like sugar coat and be like, you know, it's warming up to my skin and it's like, for the color to change in the way that it is, it's definitely oxidizing. But as far as the formula and the way that um, it feels, it feels nice, it doesn't feel heavy. It's covering a little bit what it needs to cover, but you can still see my freckles. So now we're gonna go in with the Match Stick Trio. This is supposed to contour conceal and highlight. So basically I have um, the one that comes into tan 300 and that comes with caramel, truffle and rum. I will say I like the logo on here. You still have the soft pink and what I really like about these, which is cool because I would just sit here and like mess with these and fiddle with these all day, are uh, they're magnetic. So it's actually pretty cool. You can magnetize them in any way you want. If you want them three sticks this way, um, if you just want them to be this way. So I think that's pretty innovative. I think that's pretty cool. I am going to actually go in with a truffle first. I'll show you guys what that looks like. Now that is a nice brown color. I'm gonna contour on my outer perimeter really quickly. 
Now that's a good brown. First, I'm gonna start off with my forehead. I just wanna see how this blends first before I just start drawing on my face. So I'm just gonna take my straight brush by Makeup Forever, and I just wanna see how well this just kinda blends in first before I just start. Yeah, that's so I thought. Okay, so the stick is creamy, but it will take you a little bit of a second to blend this out if you are drawing it on your face, but it's not blending out as easily as I, I would like. With this one, it looks like you may have to be careful because if you leave, you draw this on your face and you leave it on there too long, it's gonna dry up real quick, honey. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna just put it on my hand and warm it up. And actually, I'm just gonna put the product on my hand. Let me just go back to being a pro makeup artist. Ciao, okay, hold on, let me just, Put it on my hand. I love using the back of my hand as basically my palette here. I'm actually gonna just take the product, put it on my brush. Now that it's on my hand, it warms the product up. And now I can go in. Yeah, that makes it a little, yeah, there it is. <laughs> that makes it a whole lot, a little bit easier to just kinda blend it in, throw it on there. Yeah, it does. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be a soft contour because this definitely Shears out for sure, but it's nice though. It's like a nice It's like a nice contour. This is definitely some daytime makeup hmm. Hmm. Okay, Fenty, I'm just gonna go up on my forehead a little bit blend that out a little bit since I drew it in and I was like Trying to like get it together like blend it in I would say if you are gonna draw on your face child You need to be like with one hand wax on and be with the other hand wax off real quick. Okay wax on wax off you know what i'm saying like to get it blended just right so now i'm going to go in with the matchstick caramel and let me just show you guys what color that is Ooh, that that definitely looks like a true caramel let me try it under my eye let's see now that i know i have to probably work kind of fast with it i mean they're definitely matte yeah they're they're matte so you got to like really get that on there it's definitely not it's creamy but it's not so Super creamy. This is going to dry down quick. Let me pull this together. I mean, it's on there. I'm not, I'm not mad at that. I'm gonna take a smaller concealer brush and I'm just gonna literally just kind of pat that right there. Now I'm seeing how you kind of have to work with the product. Okay, now I'm gonna go under the other eye here. You know what, this is a really good product for your fingers. That's where I see this product really nice, where it makes it just super easy. So like if you're on the go and you're throwing it on and you just wanna you know, pat it down with your fingers, this is a good one for that. I'm gonna go here in my lines here. You know you look older if it's darker right there. So, you know, I always tell, you know, the women and the queens of the world, honey, that right in here when people ask me, um, as far as when they're looking dark in here and it just making them look a little older, add some concealer in there. Really just blend it out. So it just highlights right in that area. So see how it starts to blur it away a bit? That's a old school makeup artist tricky room. I'm gonna take a little bit here on my chin. Let me just, I'm just gonna use my fingers here because I feel like that's working a little bit better for me with this product. So I'm gonna take this and come down my nose and come through my forehead here. This is a good highlight color for me, for sure. This is definitely a good highlight. I like the fact that it is, you know, in a stick. So it is a little bit easy to just get it on there, you know? But um, let's use my finger. Let's see what that does. Now it is blending in really nicely just with my finger. So this would definitely be something I would say if you're on the go that you can just use your finger on there, you know what I mean? So now I'm gonna come in and set my makeup, and this is by Milk Makeup, and this is the Matte Blur Setting Powder. And I just dipped my brush in the powder, and I'm pretty sure this is gonna work well. Yeah, it does, for sure. I've really been enjoying this powder. Now I'm gonna take some of this, and I'm just going to bake just a little bit, but only like just for a few minutes, because I can already see with this particular concealer, I doesn't look like I'm gonna have to bake a whole lot, like for a long time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna dust this in. I'm just gonna just 
basically stipple this into my skin, melt the powder into my skin. Okay, you guys, so I picked out a really nice Mademoiselle lipstick by Miss Thing Rihanna Fenty Beauty. So I'm not gonna give that away yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to do like a really nice soft eye. So let's just get into eyes really quick and then you'll see the lips in a minute and you'll see like the whole look kind of come together. Now you know I gotta get these eyebrows right. So I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia brow pencil and this is in the color granite. I'm not gonna go too crazy with my brows today, but they do need to be filled in. Let's not get it twisted, okay? So I'm just going underneath first, dragging this brow through. I'm gonna come in, I'm just gonna do some strokes just so I have some hair-like illusions here. Going in on the other brow here. Hmm. Come on, Gertrude. Come on, Betty. Now it's time for shadow. I'm gonna go in with this Huda Beauty. Um, this palette is the Coral Obsessions palette. And I'm gonna go in first with this color, like this brown sort of reddish it's like a brown coral it's like they're just really pretty colors so i'm just gonna go in with this one for my transition color boom oh that oh okay who does let me know right now what she working with look how pretty that is oh i'm already feeling sultry honey <laughs> i'm gonna go back in with the matchstick and i am just going to go back over my lid with this color so then once I put my lid color in, it'll just pop a little bit more. Now listen, I would give you guys names, but this palette don't got no kind of names. It's just a whole lot of corals and gold. So I'm gonna go in with this coral here at the bottom and I'm gonna put that on my lid. We're just playing around a little bit, why not? Okay, let's spice it up a little bit. We're not doing a lot of shadows, but we are gonna go into some glitter. Y'all didn't see it coming, but we're just gonna make it like this soft, like, shine glitter so this one is in the color crystallized orange okay but first we got to go in with this glitter glue this one is by Too Faced it works really really well I'm actually just going to squirt the glitter glue out in just a little bit in the cap of the glitter so I'm just going to use that as my palette for right now and I'm going to take some of that glue here and then I'm going to dip that in this gorgeous and I mean it's gorgeous if you guys can kind of see it I, mean, I can't tip it too much or it's like it's not and then I'm gonna tap that really quickly. And then we're gonna put that right on this eye, honey. We're gonna put that right. Ooh, okay. Now this is like a super nice iridescent. As you can see, it's kind of giving me like that sort of wet look. So it's not coming out just like, oh, glitter, Psh, birthday party. Child, if that is not a pop of pigment, I don't know what is. You can't tell me you're not feeling this. And if you tell me you're not feeling this, you a lie. Lies of Manelli's, okay? This is like, who done did it? I love this. This is why I became a makeup artist. Like, you don't even understand, when I first became a makeup artist, like, I probably, every job that I did, I spent all of my coins, like, all my coins on new makeup. I mean, I was at the Pro Mac store on Robertson, like, every freaking week. Like I had to have every glitter, every pigment, every, I mean like everything. I still spend all my coins on makeup, like I just love it. So now I'm also gonna pop this color right under my waterline here. Not too heavy, but I need a little something in here. And I'm just using the same fluffy brush because we don't need like it to just to be a line under there. I just want it to be soft, you know? Okay, so you can't see the name on here because it's so dark. Um, but this is my Smoky Eye Baton, and this one is by Syrah. If you have not heard of Syrah Beauty, you need to get into it. This one's in the color Noir de Orage. So I'm really just gonna get my lash line here. And when I tell you this pencil is, I mean, it's a coal. So it's just super soft, and I mean, it's really, really soft. So all you wanna do is really just, see how I'm just lightly tapping it though? Like, it, it just like melts. Now I'm gonna go in with the other end. And the other end has like this soft um, reflex darker powder in it. So now that's what we're gonna do to just smudge out this liner. So you guys, now I'm just gonna go in with my Smashbox. This is my Limitless Eyeliner. And really, um, this one is in the color Java. It's just a really dark brown. But I'm just gonna come in my waterline here and my lash line. I'm just gonna go, um, under with uh, my smudge brush here by MAC. Really just a pencil smudge brush. So now I'm gonna come in with my Masio Big Mascara. Let's coat these lashes. 
I'm gonna just do one coat of this only because I'm gonna put on some lashes. Lashes, you guys already know my mink lashes. You guys know what I do with these mink lashes, okay? We're gonna come in with the Lily Lashes and these are in the mink lashes. These are the So Extra Miami, not regular Miami, not basic Miami. We're gonna go in with the So Extra Miami. This is the Narcissist Wanted Blush Palette number two. And I'm gonna go in, of course, with this nice, beautiful orange coral color. Um, it comes off really beautifully, too. So we need to keep it just like shiny monochromatic up in here. Okay, back to Rihanna, back to Miss Fenty. So now we're gonna go in with the highlighting stick. And I believe this color is in rum. Let's see what it is. Is this the color that I'm feeling? Okay. Okay, Rum. Now this highlighter is a little, it's drying down matte. I want to say matte. It's drying down as like a powder. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take a brush because it's not like coming on the best way. It's just sort of like coming on in a line and it's not blending out totally the best. So what I am going to do is I, I need to warm up this product. That's what I need to do. So this is what it looks like which is gorgeous as you can see I love a good gold like that's gonna be like ooh. and now I am going to take my brush here and now we're just good okay I see you now okay that makes sense let me just pull this up as well so it just gives you like that expensive gorgeous highlight right in here as well and I'm just going to put my finger on here because I'm going to come down the bridge of my nose and I'm just going to lightly come down the bridge of my nose a little bit. Yeah, that's pretty. And I'm going to take my finger on here as well and I'm just going to come right over my Cupid's bow. Okay guys, we're almost to the finish line. I am going to go with my Mademoiselle lipstick and this is in the color Saucy. I like this lip I'm not even like mad at it i like it i think what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna add a little bit of liner but this orange on me is thin. i'm going to take my mac lip liner and this is in the color red i'm just gonna warm it up on my skin here and now i'm gonna take my lip brush and i'm just gonna use it as my palette and i'm just gonna come around and just on the outer perimeter of my lip and just kind of create like a soft lip liner just a little bit just to add a little bit on the outside i'm gonna add darken it up just around the hout a little bit here Ooh, that little bit of red is making this a banger honey hey, this is everything this look is everything right now oh my god you guys i am feeling this look so much it's just so gorgeous and popping and in your face i feel like honey i feel like a stage girl with a shimmer you know what i mean like i literally saw the mademoiselle um the lipstick the rihanna lipstick or the fenty lipstick and saucy and i was like you know i don't know if i'll be able to pull that off but i do love an orange so let's just see what happens i mean i can make it work i can make it work so let's talk about my final thoughts of really when it comes down to the fenty foundation because that's really what this review was supposed to be about and then i just took it to another level i like the foundation i'm not mad at it i like the way that it did come out it's definitely more of a medium coverage uh, i'm not really sure how many layers you would have to put on to get like that full maximum beat down coverage i think the purpose of this foundation is to basically look like skin so this is not your full coverage type of foundation whatsoever it's it's not emollient enough it's not thick enough for that i'm a little concerned about the fact that it oxidizes so if you're trying to find your color uh, make sure you go see someone to just try to get your color you know what i mean and trying to order it offline or any way like that it may be really nerve-wracking to tell you the truth um what comes in this bottle as you can see this looks like a whole nother color from what i am i look like five shades darker than this but this is where i'm at on the spectrum of fenty foundation i wish that it was what's in the bottle really kind of comes out as close to your true color as possible so that's why it was super tricky for me to find my color and you know when i was being color matched they were coming out with all kind of different colors and i was like child 
you know, like I just felt like it should not have been that hard to color match. I do like the fact that there's a 40 shades, that's amazing. We all know the hype about, you know, Fenty and what it stands for and I think it's dope, I think it's amazing. I think, you know, a lot of other brands followed suit, which is awesome, which a lot of brands should did a long time ago. As far as the matchstick goes, I like the matchstick actually. Um, just make sure if you're using it as a concealer, like you're really moisturizing under your eyes because I can already see where it's already starting to sit in my lines and my my creases. Or if you do put it on, um, I would say don't powder very much. Maybe I might have baked a little too long for this product. I mean, this is my first time using the product. I mean, I did need to set it. Um, so maybe next time it'll just be like a little bit of a lighter powder because it looks like this isn't like a liquid creamy type of uh, concealer where it's really gonna just crease too much, um, that's for sure. So I know that this matchstick is not going anywhere. So when it says a matte matchstick, that is true to what it is. The color was really nice. The color was actually spot on. So what we saw in the package when I lifted it up is exactly how it went on. So I'm I'm happy about that. It looks like also the the primer, the foundation is working really, really well with the primer, um, but it is giving me a nice finish. And another thing that I really, highly, really, really like, I love this idea of the matchsticks. I love this three, um, where it's conceal, highlight, and contour. Um, for me, it's usually a little, a little difficult to buy three things in one package and it works, but this worked and I love it. And so this was, um, really for in the middle so i'm in a tan tone so i think they have a lighter package the trio and then they have a um, deeper package in the trio but this joint worked i thought these were a banger i thought these were great and i think this is worth your money for sure like to get three in one with this um these are awesome this lipstick is bomb okay this lipstick is the bomb.com this lipstick is the best.net I like this lipstick a lot. I love the color. I've had a chance to see the rest of the line of the Mademoiselle lipsticks and she just came out with some great colors. You can't beat that. I mean, that's what Riri's known for is them lipsticks, honey. So she had to come correct with that. There is no way in the world she couldn't do that. Thank you guys so much for watching. For everybody that's out there that has subscribed and watched my videos or liked or been engaged in my videos in any type of way, I just want to thank you so, so much really from the bottom of my heart you guys are the ones that pushed me to even do youtube when i was super nervous about it and i didn't think there was a place for me on here i just wanted to like really tell you guys thank you so so much and i just appreciate you and you guys are really letting me be creative and makeup again and i just love you guys so much for that so let me know what you guys think of this video if you liked it thumbs up Go ahead and leave your comments down below and don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to turn on your notifications so you never miss another video in your life. Not for me, you won't miss that video. Till next time, peace and love. Mwah.